Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and I am here with YouTube's first ever edition of Breakfast with Bacon, where I share with you all of my favorite things from the past month. Now, I know this sounds a little weird, like, wait, Jamie, there's no bacon around here. But back when I was a little bit more active on my blog, I had a monthly series called Breakfast with Bacon, appropriately named because our last name is Bacon. But at the end of each month, I would do a post with a bunch of my favorite things that happened throughout the month. Um, some of my favorite items, my favorite foods, and what I'm looking forward to about the next month is basically just like a recap of everything that happened. So feel free to skip this video if you just want to go straight to all my other like recipes and meal planning stuff. But I thought this would be fun to do, especially since a couple of you have said, hey, you know, I kind of miss those breakfast with bacon series. So I'm going to try to do this once a month, um, right around the end of the month. I was a little late here for March, but I will have one at the end of April. All right, so let's start with seven of my favorite just random things and events from the past month. Number one is this York Peppermint Patty Hot Chocolate Mix. Now listen, I bought this stuff back in December for Christmas. They had, um, I went to Meyer and they had this one as well as the Hershey Milk Chocolate Hot Cocoa Mix. And it looks so good, I had to buy both. So we totally enjoyed them for our Christmas. Um, I think I gave a couple of them away as gifts as well. But oh man, this is like the perfect uh, mint mocha, peppermint mocha. Um, and all you do is just make your coffee like normal and you pour a packet of that in there, stir it all up and it is like instant peppermint mocha. If I had any whipped cream, I would totally put that on top. But it was like $2.50 or something at the store, I think, on sale. But Mr. Max happened to have them for, I believe, it was $1.50. So I had to buy a box of it. If you see it at the store, definitely try it for yourself. Number two, I have actually been kind of obsessed with those headband wraps. Like the kind that I wear like when I work out and stuff. But I've also been using a couple of them just kind of as like a fashion statement. I've also been trying to do different things with my hair because like, as you can see, it is in a bun right now. And that is basically all I do with it. I love having long hair, but I hate having it all in my face, especially as I'm trying to cook because you don't want to see hair in your food. It's really, really gross. So that particular day I took a giant hair clip and just like put my hair up and stuck it in the back of my head. And that worked for a while until it just kind of, I don't know, felt weird, like it was gonna fall out at any minute. So I'm trying to experiment with different ways to put up my hair. And I actually just bought some more head wraps from the Bratty Martian. And I'm going to put my friend's affiliate link actually down below. She can get you a discount code if you use this particular code. But she makes like mommy and me wraps. Um, so ones that fit the mom and then they, she makes matching ones for your baby too if you choose to do that. But I bought two really cool ones and as soon as they come in, I will be showing them off hopefully in my next live session. Number three, as you already heard, I am starting marathon training. I've actually already started this week by the time you watch this. Now, back in 2018, I ran three half marathons, which was amazing. But I did something, it ended up being my hip that was kind of out of place. I was feeling it in my hamstring. I thought I injured my hamstring. So I took a break from running for like a year or so. And then finally, like even though I had stopped running, my hamstring was still aching every single day. So I finally went to a chiropractor for the first time ever. And literally after a few weeks, that pain was gone. One of my legs was longer than the other just due to my hips being kind of like out of whack. So, I mean, he fixed me. And now I am back to running again and I am now scheduling like regular chiropractic and massage appointments to make sure that does not happen again. So I have never run a marathon before. So I am using the hashtag Jamie's first 26. Yes, I even made like a little chart for myself to help myself track everything. I am doing the Jeff Galloway method of the run walk method which I think is going to help me out a whole lot in terms of keeping myself healthy and injury free. And it's just like taking short walk breaks in between your running. So you would run for different intervals. Like right now I'm experimenting with running for one minute, 
walking for 30 seconds and then going back and forth like that. And his marathon training plan is different from anything I've ever done before. Like my half marathon training, I would run like four days a week. This training plan, let's see if y'all can see this. It is a actually a 30 week plan and it only involves three runs per week, which is amazing considering I am so busy. And then with Allison being out of school for the summer and me training in the middle of the summer, that's gonna be really helpful. So the two midweek runs are only 30 minutes long. Doesn't have to be a specific mileage, it's just running for 30 minutes. And then your weekend run is always your long run. So like three, four, five, six and a half, and it progressively goes up and then back down again a couple of times until eventually you get to your marathon. I scheduled my marathon for October 30th, hoping that maybe a marathon will actually get scheduled. I have two ideas of marathons I wanna do, but one of them, I don't think they're even doing it this year. They didn't do it last year either. And then the other one may do it virtually, but is also looking into maybe doing it in person. So I don't know. But what I do wanna do is run a marathon. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it is um, in person at an event, whether it's like a virtual race or whether I just go on the trails and be like, you know what, I'm running these trails for 26 miles. Ohio has some amazing running and biking trails. So I'll give you my progress in each episode of Breakfast with Bacon. Just kind of, you know, let you know how I'm doing. And if any of you are runners as well, I would love to hear your stories and just your training progress as well. And number four, now we're in April now, which means we are now in second quarter. When I do all of my business planning and health planning and things like that, I am now planning it by the quarter. So first quarter was said and done. I had to plan out my entire second quarter just to see where I am right now and what I wanna do in the future with my business. So I took like three hours on a Saturday morning. John took Allison out to go play. I went to Panera and I planned out the entire second quarter. And let me tell you, like working from home can be hard because you know you've if you have, if you're a mom, you have kids home with you, and sometimes it's just hard to get in really focused work. So being able to go to Panera and be able to do that was amazing. And I figured while I was there, I might as well get lunch. The things I am most obsessed with there right now are their Fuji apple chicken salad and their autumn squash soup. They're so, so good. So if you have not tried that yet, I recommend it. Okay, and while we're on the subject of coffee, Starbucks right now has their brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. It's my first time trying it and oh my gosh, y'all is so good. Number five has to do with audiobooks. Back in the day, I used to be such a huge reader. When I was a kid, like that's all I would do. I would read Babysitter's Club, I'd read Goosebumps, and then I got into the more of like fantasy series. I got into um, Terry Brooks, and then I got into the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. Now, if you know anything about his books, they're like that thick, okay? It's just crazy. And after I had Allison, I suddenly found myself with like, no time to read. But then I discovered audiobooks and how amazing audiobooks are. I downloaded the Libby app, which I can link down below, it's free. But you can link up your library card to it and you can actually like check out audiobooks to listen to, either audiobooks or ebooks, whatever. And I've been listening to the Wheel of Time series because of that. Like I'll, when Allison's in school, I will listen to it like when I'm doing things around the house, when I'm going out for walks. Now <laughs> the problem, like I said, these books are like that thick, which means that the audiobooks are like 40 hours long. So I've been listening to them all at 1.2 speed, which is definitely helping. Um, so my goal is to try to listen to all 40 something hours before the, the three weeks is up, before I have to return it back to the library. And leave me a comment and tell me, are you more of a, an actual book reading person or are you more of an audiobook person? Number six. Legos. Let's talk Legos for a minute, okay? Now, Legos were something I played with all the time when I was a kid. So I knew that if I ever had kids, I wanted to get them into Legos. 
and yeah, Allison, she's into Legos. We started off with those really huge mega blocks when she was a baby, things that she could put in her mouth, but you know, couldn't swallow. And then we moved on to Duplos, which are the slightly bigger version of Legos, but smaller than mega blocks. And then I remember she was four years old when we got her her first Lego set and it was Lego Friends. And like, that was the end of it. She was just all into Legos. So Christmas, birthdays, anywhere in between, Tuesdays. I mean, she, she gets Legos. And this girl is so creative. We found this YouTube channel called LEV Toys and she, she does reviews on Lego sets, but she also does her own thing. She makes different Lego creations and posts them on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below too. But Allison is obsessed with her. And I love her because she's very kid friendly. There's no bad language or anything. It is just well, Legos, and then she has other toy reviews that she does too. But Allison watches her and she takes all these ideas and turns them into her own creations. And this is one of them. She made like a little pond scene with two ducks. I'm like, how did you do this? She's like, oh, you know, I thought it up in my head. So she is so much more creative than I ever was and that what I ever could be. Like, give me the instructions and let me do it. No, she doesn't want the instructions. She just wants to build her own thing. And I absolutely love it. And my number seven favorite thing this month are these giant pretzels. Allison had a fundraiser just a week or so ago selling these pretzels for like $1.50. So we bought quite a few of them and they're like as big as my face. All right, they're delicious. I remember when I was doing my half marathon training, when I would go for a long run, we'd go over to this, this uh, farmer's market where they would sell those giant pretzels and they had a coffee shop in there too. So I would get like a huge iced mocha and a pretzel to kind of celebrate my long run. And oh my gosh, those are amazing with like mustard or cheese sauce or something. We just love our carbs in the bacon household. So those are my top seven things that just happened throughout the month and some of my favorite things. Now, what am I obsessed with currently? I am currently obsessed with two different video games. Chrono Trigger is one of them. And for all you nerds out there, yeah, the Chrono Trigger from like the original Super Nintendo, they remade it for the PlayStation with those really cool like animated graphics and the cutscenes, And then they remade it again for the DS. And that's the one I've been playing recently. I think it's because I've been watching speed runs on YouTube. And so somebody did a speed run of Chrono Trigger in like six hours. So it uh, inspired me to start playing it again, just in my spare time, whatever that is. The other game I'm kind of obsessed with is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Switch. And I got it for Christmas, not this past Christmas, but the one before when we got our Switch. And as I started playing, like Allison became addicted to watching me. We would play for like an hour or so every day. And actually, yeah, that was when the pandemic hit. We had a lot more time on our hands. So yes, I would actually play Breath of the Wild for quite a while. Um, I finally beat it after 30 or 40 something hours. And that the game is just amazing. The, the world is huge. You think you've explored everything and then you find one area. It's like, wait a second, I've never seen this before. So yes, I beat it. Uh, once, maybe twice or so, but she likes playing it, just like going into the villages and doing random things. But yeah, those are the two video games that I'm currently playing. And lastly, what am I looking forward to in April? First of all, I am looking forward to getting into a groove with my marathon training. I, I just, I felt kind of empty inside without a plan to follow and I've got my marathon training and I didn't say this before, but I'm also doing like some weightlifting on my off days. I was subscribed to Beachbody on demand. So I'm doing lift four, which is only four days a week, which is amazing. And it really fits in quite nicely with my marathon training schedule. We are also getting closer to Kings Island. And while technically that doesn't open up until May 8th, 
I mean, we're in April, we're like less than a month away and like we're counting down the days. We are amusement park junkies. We get the season passes every year. We ride all the coasters, we eat all the food, we travel to the different parks. It's amazing. And that's basically our summer vacation is getting to go there once a week. We love it. And then lastly, this coming up week is actually spring break for Allison. We don't have a whole lot of uh, fun things planned just because we have a big trip scheduled in July, but I figured I would take her to like the kids play area. There's like a big indoor kids like play area thing that she likes to go to. Um, inside one of our malls is actually a big arcade and she's sort of into like the arcade games, but I figured I would try taking her to that and see if she enjoys it. Just, you know, we, we've gone through so much in this past year with online school and not being able to go anywhere or do anything. I'm trying to kind of make it up by doing a bunch of fun activities during spring break. But that is it for this month's edition of Breakfast with Bacon. I hope you enjoyed kind of listening to my past month or so as much as I enjoyed actually talking about it. Is this something that you all want to see kind of every month or so? I know it may not be very interesting to the people who just want to see like the healthy food, but I sometimes just like to get out here and, you know, talk about my life and see how you guys are doing too. So leave me a comment and tell me what are you looking forward to in April? There's got to be something, something positive that you're looking forward to and I want to hear it. And as always, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and ring that bell notification down there. And that way you'll be notified when these videos come out as well as my other grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.